Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial using boilerplate. And now this is our part 13th in which we will discuss about how can we create page when our plugin activates. So guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions that we have made under the playlist called plugin development using boilerplate. So for now what we did so far when our plugin activates then actually we are creating a table called WP OW playlist okay so we want that when we activate our this plugin then we want to create a page in this list okay so if you go to the plugin section let me deactivate first okay so successfully we have deactivated this plugin so when we refresh this page now table does not exist okay once more let's activate this plugin while activating this plugin if we refresh this page and now we can find that this is the table that actually we have installed but also we want that a page should be created within this pages section okay so right now no pages has been created for now so for creating the dynamic pages while plugin activation we have to follow the simple steps that we will follow okay so first of all we have to go to our editor so just open up inside includes folder just open up called activator file okay because this is the activator file guys actually runs when the plugin first activates okay within this activate method we need to call or we need to put the query we need to put the code that actually which generates the dynamic page okay so let's make a call a function called this boiler create page and now we need to define this function okay so let's make that public function and the function name okay within this function we need to write the code which actually generates the dynamic page okay generates the dynamic page okay so now we need to make an empty array that is page equal to array okay and now within this empty array we have to put our key something called if you go to our WP post table because when we create any page while plugin activation then basically it means goes into inside this table called WP post okay it make a entry in this table so while means giving our empty array we need to assign some of the keys from this table like we need to assign like post name post title post content and all these keys okay so behind the scene guys I have written a small snippet of code which actually inserts a page inside our WP post table okay so just I'm going to paste this code so now you can see that I have defined a empty array within this empty array we have assigned a post title key post content post status post slug and post type all these keys actually are related from this table column name as you can see post title post status post comment post name and so on okay so according to our need we can put our keys right here okay and uh, along with them we have assigned all the values for these keys okay and now we need to insert this array we need to insert this array inside this table okay to insert any dynamic post inside this table guys we will use a function of WordPress called WP insert post okay WP insert post is a WordPress function which basically insert any post inside this table it takes an um, it takes the parameters in an array format okay so just going to edit it let's use called WP insert post basically it takes a parameter of type array as you can see page which contains the parameters like post title post content post status post slug and post type okay so we need to pass this array inside this post okay so successfully we have actually inserted a uh, means row or created dynamic page inside this table okay so after inserting after inserting post inside this WP post table it actually returns the post ID okay so basically let's store into a variable called post ID okay here we are inserting record okay inserting data 
into WP post table okay so now we want that after getting this post ID we want to make a insertion in WP options table as well okay because while plugin when we deactivate that plugin when we deactivate that plugin then we want to delete the page that we have created okay so when we deactivate this plugin we want to delete that page from this WP post table so how can we delete that so to delete that page we need to make a entry in this WP tape options table as well okay so now what we want to do with the help of this post ID we need to use called WP options okay by using add option function we are going to insert a row inside this WP options table okay so this is the key that actually we are using as you can see option name by the help of this option name we have inserted called boiler page and now it has taken another parameter called post ID okay so successfully when we run this code then actually activate method activate method call this function call this method and now this method actually what we will do it will create a page in the array format it will insert inside this WP insert function it will generate a post ID after inserting into WP post table and now with the help of this post ID we have made an entry into our WP options table okay so right here we are inserting data into WP options table as well okay WP options table so successfully we have made an entry inside our WP options table as well as WP post table okay so before inserting guys any of the dynamic row inside our these tables we need to first check that this slug actually exists or not because in a WordPress means WP post table every slug is a unique key every slug is unique for all of the pages okay so doing entries making entry of these details into our post table we need to first check that this slug actually exists or not if this slug exists then we will not do any entry inside this table if it does not exist then definitely we will do this entry okay so let's say that we are going to check that slug exists or not so let's use global WPDB object it's WPDB object okay and now let's say WPDB dot get row okay and now let's say that WPDB this is prepare and now inside this prepare method let's say select asterisk from this is WPDB prefix and it's post table okay basically it uh, it returns WP post table and now let's say where where slug equal to and the slug basically inside stored inside called post name okay so if you go to the structure section then this is the post name which basically stores our slug so just make copy of that and also we need to replace this inside instead of post slug let's say post name okay we have written a wrong key for there so let's say that post name equal to equal to as and this as is equal to that this test page okay we need to check that this slug actually exists or not so this is a varchar type means this is a string value so that's why that we have written percentage as okay actually if we not write single quotes then it would also work okay so we are checking that to select asterisk from WP post table where post name equal to this okay so just I'm going to pass the second parameter as we are going to retrieve this array in array format okay so let's say that there is slug exists okay we are storing the resultant output inside this variable okay we need to check that this variable if it is empty okay if it is empty it means our slug does not exist otherwise our slug exists okay so let's say that just cut all these codes what we have written so far just paste inside this empty section okay means if 
slug does not exist resultant will be empty then we need to insert these details inside this WP post table as well as WP options table so just save this file because we have done all so far okay so just go to browser let's say that first we need to deactivate this plugin okay so successfully we have deactivated now if we go to browse section WP post table let's say we want in descending order right now we have only five entries inside this table okay and if you go to WP options table just make it as descending we have 292 total entries okay so successfully if we go ahead and activate this plugin let's click on activate so successfully we have activated this plugin so if you go to WP post table just refresh this page so successfully we have inserted a row called 8 okay basically it's test page 1 okay so if we go to the post name section so this is the slug actually we have inserted okay and now if you go to WP options table as well just click on refresh and this is option value this is 8 what basically it represents it indicates that WP post table has returned the ID actually the piece has been inserted this is 8 so just go to administrator panel click on pages section and this is the page that we have generated that is test page 1 okay so if we click on view so this is the page that we have generated and this is the content that we have written inside this post content as you can see learning platform for WordPress customization this is the content that we have assigned to this dynamic create page okay so also guys we want that when someone deactivate this plugin when someone deactivate this plugin then we want to delete this page as well okay so if we go to something called plugins if we deactivate this plugin then now if we refresh this page just click on refresh the page has not been deleted as you can see so if we go ahead and refresh this section also the page has not been deleted as well if we go to front end section and now pages is still okay so we want that we want to delete this page as well when the plugin deactivates okay so what will be the code actually we will write so just go to deactivator file class OWT boiler and deactivator.php so inside this file we want to delete that page okay so right now what we did so far inside this method we actually deleting the table that we have created so inside this method we need to delete that page that we have created dynamically okay so how can we delete that page simply because we have a, a make, made an entry inside this WP options table okay first we need to read this options table means by the help of this option name boiler page we need to retrieve the page ID by the help of this ID actually we will delete that row inside this table okay so that's why we have inserted WP options table so how can we retrieve this key value by using get options function okay WordPress actually provides a function called get options by the help of get options we need to pass a option name inside that by the help of this option name actually we will retrieve the option value by the help of this option value we will delete this post inside this table okay so just go to editor behind the scene I have made a small snippet of code just I'm going to paste it so this is the code that we I did okay we are retrieving get option this is the key that as you can see this is the key that we have inserted called boiler page okay by the help of this get option we are retrieving the option value if it is not empty means the key exists inside this WP options table so we need to retrieve the page ID by getting the page ID means option value by getting this option value as a page ID we want to delete this post okay we want to delete this post from this WP post table okay so successfully by using this WP post table we will actually delete that created post from WP post table as well as we want to delete the boiler page option value from WP options table as well okay so successfully if we save this file go to browser and just refresh this page once more just click on activate so successfully if we refresh this page now we have an entry inside this table as well 
just refresh this page we have an entry in this table as well so successfully when we deactivate this plugin deactivated this plugin so if we refresh this page the page does not exist as you can see if we refresh this page the key does not exist also if we refresh inside this front end section the page is not found so successfully we have deleted the dynamic created page that we have created so far okay so when we activate this plugin we have created our dynamic page as well as dynamic table so when we go to database boiler then as you can see we have created the dynamic table as well and also inside this WP options table just in descending order we have created a boiler page with ID 9 and a 9 is called the post ID that we have inserted inside this WP post table okay so just we need to descending order and this is the page that we have inserted okay so when we deactivate this plugin so successfully we have deleted this page as well so just refresh and now page does not exist WP options does not contain any row okay so successfully guys we have seen that how can we create dynamic page as well as we have deleted that dynamic page from our database table as well as from this pages sections okay so the basic concern of our this video session guys has been completed and also we had seen this same type of concept in our plugin development video session series in what we have did so far okay so guys in this video session if you have any doubt then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day